So the other day, I was showing one of my friends around the house, giving them the tour of the studios and the office, and of course the main room where I have most of my sneakers, which I like to call the stock room. As many of you guys remember from the tour that I gave you a couple months back, I have shoes stacked up in there. This is when I got asked the question, if you could only keep one sneaker, what would it be? Now, I didn't have an answer for that, and I tried long and hard to think about it, but I think it's kind of impossible to choose just one. But it still got me thinking. What if I could boil it down to just the essentials? And this is when I landed on the number five. There is five sneakers that everybody should own. This will be the perfect rotation. And let me break it down for you guys. Before I tell you the exact five sneakers, I think we need to establish the categories. We got the active, the daily, the beater, the fancy, and the substitute. And with these five categories, you can create the perfect rotation and the only five sneakers that you need. So let's kick things off with the active. Despite the name, this sneaker is an essential, whether you go to the gym or not. Anybody can wear these. Now, the sneaker should be versatile, comfortable, but also light and performance-based. Most shoes that would fit this category would be running shoes, but why would you own a pair of running shoes if you didn't go to the gym or run? This would be the perfect sneaker for running errands, going for a walk, or, you know, competitive shopping. The list goes on. Now, I thought long and hard about what this pair of shoes would be. I've looked to my own rotation. I've looked at and ranked all of the performance-based shoes that I've reviewed on the channel over the past few years. And honestly, the one pair of shoes that really checked all of these boxes was the Adidas Ultra Boost. This sneaker has been part of my rotation for generations, and I mean generations of the model. I owned the original one and even some of the uh, spin-off ones like the 3.0s. I owned the 19s, the 20s, and even the latest version. I've tried so many different running style shoes and this is just the best all-rounder. It's insanely comfortable, but not so much so that you feel like you have marshmallows underneath your feet, which can be impractical for certain scenarios. It's super easy to slip on and off. Most of them don't even require you to tie them unless you really needed to. They're great for performance. I've worn them to the gym, running, but they're also just great for daily use. So yes, I definitely think that the Adidas Ultra Boost is the best active and the best sneaker for this category. I think it just costs the widest net, and if you wanted the perfect rotation, I definitely think that these deserve a consideration. All right, next category, we've got the daily. Daily is in the name because this is the pair of shoes that you're going to be wearing every single day. So the characteristics of this sneaker would be something comfortable. Obviously, you're wearing it every day, so you want comfort to be the priority. But it should also be something that is easy to put on, which can be overlooked for some people. Ideally, you want to be able to put this pair of shoes on with no hands and just slip your feet into it. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to pick out my shoes for the day and I'm looking at all of these different shoes. And some of them, I'm just like, there's no way I'm sitting down, untying it, slipping my foot in, tying it back up, and then getting ready to go. I just pick the ones that I could slide my feet into and keep it moving. They also need to be good quality, because again, if you're going to be wearing these sneakers a lot, then they need to stand the test of time. And finally, they need to be versatile, because again, they need to go with a bunch of different outfits that you would wear on a daily basis. Okay, so what does this sneaker look like? And honestly, this was one of the hardest sneakers to pick for this category, because there's a lot of different options. But I crowned the Yeezy 7 more specifically the 700 v2 creams I mean there was a lot that I thought were gonna be the ones like the Sakai vapor waffles maybe a pair of Jordan ones but no none of them fit every single category like the Yeezy 700 v2s do this sneaker is insanely comfortable super versatile I and mean, I've worn these with so many different outfits and even to the gym sometimes they're great quality I've been wearing this specific pair for three to four years now and they still look great oh yeah and they're also super easy to put on in fact in fact, I haven't tied these things since the day I got them. I tied them once and now I just slip my foot in and out. So yeah, definitely my pick for the daily, but obviously you can look at the different distinctions and figure out what your perfect daily is. So let's talk about the next category, the beater. You might look at this category and be like, well, bro, that could just be any shoe. No. This category has a decent amount of strategy to it as well. So let's define it. By definition, the beater is a sneaker that you don't mind beating down. So, you know, we're talking, you need to wash your car. You're going to be rocking these. You need to mow the lawn. 
beater. It's rainy and muddy outside, beater. Basically any scenario where you know your shoes are gonna get dirty and you don't wanna mess up your nicer, more expensive shoes, you call up the beaters to come and take the hits instead. Now some people's beaters are just older sneakers from other categories. Maybe you retire your dailies and now they become beaters. And that is fine, you definitely can do that and sometimes it does make sense. However, you're not really thinking long term. What happens when your beaters fall apart and you no longer have a pair of dailies to bring down into the beater category? Well, you're out of beaters. So a beater definitely needs to be an affordable shoe that you can replace easily. Maybe a pair that you picked up in a sale or got a steal on. Now this shoe ideally should be a little bit more durable. Now I don't think it's a mandatory, but it is better if it's more durable. Honestly, there is a lot of variables and it does depend a lot. But as long as it checks those boxes, I think you're good. I have a couple beaters, almost a beater rotation. First one is these and ones that I usually wash the car and mow the lawn in. Just generally speaking, a cheap pair of sneakers. But some other beaters that I've got would be the no two ways shoes. Those are really solid. I wear those for walks a lot of the time because I think they look really good as well. Any foam shoe is a really great option because they're super easy to clean and a lot of the times they stand up to wear and tear a lot better than some of the fabric or leather shoes. So yeah, with the beater category, affordability and the price of the shoe definitely plays a lot into it. But next category is, uh, in all honesty, a category that I neglected the most out of all of these. And I honestly think that a lot of other sneakerheads do as well. It's the fancy. So for years, I pretty much didn't have an answer for this one. I didn't have a fancy pick. You know, I was way too busy focusing on the other categories. Every so often, I would be invited to something or I'd have to go somewhere where, you know, I needed a smart, casual outfit and then I would kind of be stumped on what to wear. For example, this. What the hell was I thinking? Anyway, this category for me is still in the works. You know, I'm still kind of refining it. I will say there's a lot of situational things with this category. A lot comes down to your own personal style. But I think this sneaker can either be really smart or really expensive. For example, you pull up to an event wearing LV Air Force Ones. Nobody's questioning you on that. You, you meet the dress code. But personally, I can't afford a pair of LV Air Force Ones. And quite honestly, I would feel pretty crazy walking around with with like 10K on my feet. My fancy is the Ralph 7000 Studio Echo Shoe. This sneaker boot thing fits perfectly with my personal style. It's also more of a hybrid pair of shoes that I've spoke about plenty times on the channel. It's comfortable, it's something that I've dressed up and also dressed down. So that is my pick for the fancy, but I do think that this category takes a decent amount of self-reflection. Look at your style. That brings us to the final category, the substitute. I can already tell you're looking at me on this one like, what the hell, this is not necessary. Some chump bench warmer? Well, this is where I would tell you that you're wrong. You know, most team sports have substitutions. WWE tag teams, football, rugby, hockey, basketball, you get the point. Substitute is very important. Not only to swap out shoes that are extremely beat down, but also to just have a refresher in the rotation. Something that you can just throw in if your outfit didn't work with your dailies. Well, throw the substitute in and make it work. Maybe your daily sneaker doesn't work with a specific outfit that you're trying to put together. Who are you gonna call up? The Ultra Boost, they're not coming. Beaters, voicemail. But the substitute is there every time you call. So what does this sneaker look like? Well, in an ideal world, the substitute would fit loosely into all of these categories. It's not really a specialist, it's just something that's kind of good at everything. For me, that's the Jordan 1. That's right, when I didn't have a fancy, the Jordan 1 was right by my side. I didn't have an active, it was ready to go. When I needed a daily for a specific fit, I didn't even have to ask, it was right there. When I need a beater, you know who I'm gonna be calling. Now this one, again, should be something that you can kind of wear with most of these categories. However, depending on your lifestyle, where it leans on there, you know, maybe you're someone who's always in the gym, you might want to lean it a little bit more in the active direction. If you're someone who just likes to turn up with a fresh outfit a lot of the times, then a little bit more towards the daily side. Those are my five sneakers. The Yeezy 700 V2 Cream, the Ultra Boost, the Rao 7000 Echo Sneaker, the And One Foam Runner No Two Ways, and the Jordan 1. I want to know what your five sneakers are down in the comment sections and put a little bit of thought into it because I'm gonna be reading through these and if you want to know what sneakers are dropping right around the corner well click that video right over there